overcast skies and a prediction of rain greeted the Army band on the fifth day of the Norwegian military tattoo. With a busy schedule in the afternoon and evening, any sightseeing would have to be done in the morning. We are on Karl Johansgata, which is a gogata, a walking street. This is Oslo's main street, the hub for shopping, restaurants, and so forth. Behind me is the royal palace where the king and queen of Norway live. On Sutnamai, the 17th of May, Norway celebrates their Independence Day. And almost all of the Norwegians in the country come out to celebrate, dressed in their national attire, wearing their bunads, which is the, the, the famous Norwegian dress, and then waving their flags. This is the flag of Norway, or as the Norwegians would say, flag. A phrase you'll often hear on that day is gratulerum i dagen, which is congratulations with the day, or happy birthday. A parade was scheduled through the streets of Oslo, followed by an outdoor concert at City Hall. The weather, however, would be a factor. Yes, we're going from uh, this uh, historical site to that this soccer is festing through uh, the parading street called uh, Karl Johansgate. And then we're finishing at City Hall where there's going to be a concert. The reason we brought a color team is that every one of the other bands has brought their colors too. And they've actually done some training, try to figure this stuff out. And I'm glad that it's not raining for nothing else than the fact that they've worked hard enough to be able to do this, but to be able to do it. What's interesting to me is when people uh, agree with you, they'll say, yes, I agree, but there's a lot of different ways they can say it, and often they'll group it all together. So uh, if you're really in agreement, it's not uncommon to hear, mm. now they don't say, uh-huh, but they go, mm, which sounds kind of like a diplomatic answer to us, but that's uh, decidedly a yes. And I love this part here where they'll say, ya, yeah, which is yes, but they'll inhale it. Mm. That means I really agree with you. The weather has hold up because I've spoken to Thor, our uh, Norse god of thunder. So he has promised me good weather. It's a little bit cloudy, but uh, it's going to be fine. No rain.
did come, and the outdoor concert was canceled. However, the army band woodwind quintet performed at a reception at Oslo's famous city hall, where each year the Nobel Peace Prize is presented. Later in the day, as the rain stopped and the clouds parted, the Norwegian Tattoo presented its first of four floor shows that weekend. The U.S. Army Band, as well as the other participants, were eager to begin. My favorite thing about the show has been the variety and the diversity within the show. I sort of thought coming here that it would be just military bands. I didn't think we'd see so much uh, traditional music and folkloric music and the traditions really come out in the music and I think that's been fantastic. And including our tradition, our musical tradition has come out. So that's been my favorite part of the show. I like meeting the uh, people from the other bands. You know, I'm gonna talk to uh, just our, I guess our counterparts learning the way they do things. Some of them are very similar and some of them are very different. Mm -hmm. uh, we found out that uh, some of the bands in Norway get civilian subs. So that was pretty cool. Get from fitted. other countries. From even. other countries, yeah. There's <laughs> people from Sweden playing in the Norway band that are civilians. It's pretty neat. So I'm going to try and implement that. The city lends itself to be able to just kind of explore and get a cup of coffee and just kind of walk around. And that was fun. I would say just getting to know everybody because I'm new, really new. And I don't know anybody, so it's been, been nice to hang out with everybody here. Everybody. Everybody? Everybody. I want to add something to that, if I can. Yeah.